Hello, welcome to Storytime. I'm so glad you're here. Today I have a book that I'm really excited to share with you. It's about animals that live way, way, way up north in the Arctic Circle or the North Pole. And up there in the wintertime, it's very, very cold. And there's a lot of snow. And guess what? Sometimes the sun doesn't shine at all. So the story I'm going to share with you is called Arctic Animals, and the author is Jill McDonald. On the very top of our planet is a cold, frozen place called the Arctic. It's covered in ice and snow, but lots of amazing animals live there. Let's go and meet them. See, there's a globe. That's a model of our planet. And the North Pole and the Arctic are at the very top. You can't go any farther north than the North Pole. Polar bears are big and white. They have thick fur and a layer of fat called blubber to keep them warm in the cold weather and icy water. Their fur is oily so they can easily shake off ice and water to stay dry. See, there's the polar bears, and they swim in the water because they like to eat fish and seals that live in the water. Wow, what is this animal with a tusk like a unicorn's horn? It's a narwhal. A narwhal is a type of whale. The tusk is actually a very long front tooth. So can you see the narwhal? And there's his horn. It's really a tooth. Can you imagine having a tooth like that? Hop, hop, thump. Arctic hare has shorter ears than other rabbits and a lot of fat and fur which help it live in cold temperatures. Why do you think he has white fur? You're right, so he can hide in the snow because a lot of things like to eat Arctic hares. This little ar Arctic ground squirrel is busy preparing a cozy den and sorting food for the winter. Soon it will be ready to hibernate. And hibernating is when an animal goes to sleep all winter. It curls up in its den and it goes to sleep because there's not enough food for it to eat. Swoop! The snowy owl has dense white feathers to keep it warm, golden eyes that can see food and enemies far away, and sharp claws for hunting. See her pretty golden eyes, and sharp claws? And did you know there's no tall trees in the Arctic? So the owl has to build her nest on the ground. These feathered friends are puffins. They can swim and fly very quickly. A puffin's beak is gray in winter, but in spring it turns bright orange. You see the puffins? They look like penguins, but they're not. Because penguins live at the south. They don't live at the North Pole. Oh, my stars, look at that big animal. Snort. A walrus has a large body, flat flippers, wrinkly skin, and whiskers that look like a mustache. Did you notice it also has two tusks? You see, there's a tusks, his mustache, and flippers. Walruses use their tusks to fight, break holes in the ice, and help pull their heavy bodies out of the water. Caribou stay warm with a heavy coat of fur. They also have large fur-covered hooves that act like snowshoes to help them walk on ice and snow. You see their feet? They're flat and they have fur so it's easier to walk in the snow. The Arctic fox has a thick fur coat that changes color. 
It's white in the winter to blend in with the snow. It turns brown in the spring so the fox can hide among the rocks and plants. A lot of animals have fur that changes. So it's white in the winter so the Arctic fox can hide and it can sneak up on its dinner. And then in the spring it turns brown when the snow melts so it can blend in then. How? The Siberian Husky is one of the oldest breeds of dogs. It can run fast in the cold and pull a heavy sled across ice and snow. See, those are sled dogs. They're Siberian Huskies. And they're helping this guy get across the snow. Siberian Huskies curl into a tight ball to sleep and they cover their nose with their tails to stay extra warm. You see him curled up there to sleep and he covers his face with his tail. Kind of like you might wear a scarf in the cold weather to keep your face warm. Some nights, the Arctic sky is full of bright waves of color. All the animals have come out to look. You see the beautiful lights in the sky? Those are called the northern lights. And all the animals are out enjoying it. And that's the end of the story. Well, I hope you enjoyed the story. There are so many cool animals that live up north in the Arctic. And I hope you learned something about some of them. If you're interested, ask your grown-up to help you find some more information. You can go to the library, you can look for a video, or you could go to my favorite place, the zoo. Thank you for letting me read to you, and I'll see you next time. Bye!